What up, pimps? And welcome back to the next episode of the Vinny Podcast. And today, my friends, we are back to our regularly scheduled programming. And I said that phrase correctly, which makes me a very happy camper. But yes, this week we are not live. We are back to a regularly recorded episode. It's that fucking word that I have trouble with regularly. I don't know why. When I say it, it sometimes doesn't come out right. But I said it three times, I think, already today in this podcast correctly, so that's an A++ for me. So I might sound a little weird right now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. We're going to call this the 7 a.m. cast, because it is literally 7 a.m. right now when I am recording this podcast, and no, I have not slept yet. I just got finished watching the movie Blockers with John Cena. It was fucking hilarious, and I couldn't fall asleep. I was tossing, I was turning. You guys know those nights where you're just laying in bed, and you're a little bit hot, and it's a little bit sweaty in the room and you can't quite find the comfortable position in your bed to fucking fall asleep and I was like you know what I might as well film a motherfucking podcast because it's been a while since I did a recorded podcast and I wanted to make sure that we got back on track because today is Friday and I want to bring you guys the high quality content so honestly I really don't have anything prepared necessarily to talk about in this podcast. I guess I can give you guys a little bit of an update on what's been going on in my life. And you know what? Things have been very good, ladies and gentlemen. We have had a lot of content being recorded, being uploaded to the channel. And overall, my headspace is in a very good place right now. It was funny. My dad and my brother actually just left for work. I went upstairs My dad was getting his water ready for the day. My dad and my brother do sanitation, in case you guys didn't know. So they were leaving for work, and I'm like, you know what? They're going to work. I'm going to also go to work, film a podcast, talk about my life in general right now. It's been a while since I really caught you guys up to speed on what's been going on, and honestly, not really a lot has been going on. I mean, I've been recording a ton of content for you guys. You already know this. I've been enjoying a lot of me time, still going strong with the healthy lifestyle. I guess we could dive deeper into the healthy uh, lifestyle right now. So I've been telling you guys on social media, whether it be on the YouTube channel or on Instagram or Twitter, whatever, that I started doing cardio twice a day again to try to get myself... Basically, I want to get my abs back as soon as possible. In order to do that, I'm going to have to start doing a lot more cardio just to speed up the process because I've been going ham for about, what is it, almost seven months now. I started this healthy lifestyle in December, and you guys can definitely notice a difference. If you go back to the videos and the live streams from last December, December 2017, you'll be like, holy shit, Vinny, you look like a fucking house. And I indeed was a walking house. I was a house human because I was a fat bastard. Houses aren't necessarily fat, but if you're a human and you're being compared to the size of a house, you get what I'm talking about. I feel like my voice sounds fucking incredible right now. Luckily, I have my voice coming back because you guys know my voice has been a little bit hoarse. Ah, I just took a sip of this high quality H2O, and while I was taking a sip of my high quality H2O, I was a little bit silent because I looked over at my phone and my dad just texted me literally 25 or 30 minutes ago when I was watching this movie Blockers, I leaned over and I have a little nightstand next to my bed and I have my Apple Watch charger on there and I put the Apple Watch on it and I must have missed the charger and I dropped the Apple Watch and the face of it cracked. Now you guys know I wear that fucking thing every day. It has really helped me on my fitness journey. It's so nice when I go for a run, I can see exactly how many miles I'm running. It shows you how off, like, you know, the time splits of when you hit the miles. Also, if the commentary is all over the place in this podcast, just bear with me. I literally have not slept. I feel like I'm having a fucking sleepover with you guys tonight. Just telling you what's on my mind, kicking back, relaxing in this cozy green chair. But yeah, my dad just texted me and he's like, you got to see if you can get that watch fixed. So yes, hopefully... I can go to the Apple store either today or tomorrow and see if I can get a new screen replaced because that's a fucking bummer, man. You know, sometimes shit happens with technology where your phone might crack or like in this example, your watch might crack and you just sit there and you're like, fuck, this really fucking blows. And that's exactly what I was thinking. This really fucking blows. My shit never cracks like knock on wood. Let me see if you guys can hear this. Yeah, the mic picked that up. Knock on wood, I have never had a phone crack. I've dropped phones many times. I have slippery butterfingers, if you will. But yeah, never cracked a phone screen. This fucking thing hit the ground, and it made a sound. I I can't even replicate the sound that happened, but I knew something was wrong, leaned over, picked it up off the floor, and that shit... 
it was cracked. So I definitely need to get that fixed. Either get it fixed or I'm just going to have to... Yeah, it was a weird sound. I'm just going to have to buy a new watch. Now, I was waiting to buy a new Apple Watch when the new Apple Watch comes out, a.k.a. the Series 4 that is supposed to come out later this year, which I'm really excited about. Apparently, we're going to get a bigger screen, better specs, the whole nine yards. I think that's the phrase, the whole nine yards. I don't know. I've been saying that for a while. Hopefully, it's an accurate phrase. You guys ever have a phrase in your head that you don't quite know if it's the actual phrase, but yet you always just slip it into conversation, just slide it right in there? You guys know what I'm talking about, giggity. But yeah, I wanted to wait and get that fucking watch, but now my watch is broken, so I'm thinking, ah, I might as well just buy another one. But then I'm like, no, I'd rather just get the screen fixed before... I buy a whole new watch, a whole new watch, <laughs> a whole new watch, you know what I'm saying? But you guys know what I'm talking about. The new one's coming out in a couple months, so like, why would I buy a whole new watch before buying that one? I'm all stressed out now. This was not part of the plan for my fucking watch to break, but you know what? Sometimes in life, you're going to be throwing a couple of curveballs, and you got to just hang in there, you know? Swing that bat and hit the ball. I don't know baseball references. I played baseball when I was a kid and I begged my parents to not play baseball because I didn't like it. And my parents were like, you're going to play baseball. And I stuck on the team for a few years. I mean, won a championship. I was, this is really little. This is like little league baseball. I think the team was called the Sidewinders. No, I was on the Sidewinders. Shout out to coach Dave. He'll be very happy. I'm giving him the shout out. I was talking to my coach Dave the other day actually getting him up to speed on what I've been doing. I was telling him about my YouTube channel and shit. So next time I see him, I'll be like, yeah, I mentioned you in the podcast. You were the freaking awesome coach that helped me conquer my fears of the ball. Because when I was a kid, we're getting really deep at 7 a.m. in the morning, but that's what happens at the 7 a.m. cast. Anyway, yeah, I was scared of the ball. So I remember one time Coach Dave, he showed up to the field and he had tennis balls. And he's like, these can't hurt you. And we were practicing me swinging my bat, giggity, with the tennis balls because obviously if a tennis ball hits you, you can't getting pain but yeah the sidewinders was that team and uh then i was on the a's was the team where i believe or the angel i don't remember the fucking name of the team but we won a championship and there's a trophy in my room but i fucking sucked i did not like baseball football i loved i don't know how this turned into a fucking sports conversation <laughs> but uh yeah football i loved i actually played football from seventh grade all the way up to 12th grade and 12th grade i was actually one of the captains on the football team. If you guys have been on the channel for a while, you know this story. Now, I was not a captain because I was good. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was not very good at football. I played on the special teams, which was cool, but I was literally like the only captain in the group that didn't really have any football skill. I obviously lift a lot. You guys know I'm a strong dude. I lift things up. I put them down. Not to brag, but in high school, I won the pound for pound weightlifting championship junior and senior year consecutively. Had to throw that in there to just make myself feel good because confidence is key. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you guys all the time, it's good to be confident, but it's not good to be cocky. Anyway, I was not very good at football, but what I am good at, and you guys know this because you know me well, I feel like I'm saying that a lot. You guys know this, but I feel like you guys know me very well because I'm very transparent with you guys and a lot of the stuff that I talk about here on the channel. And that's what's so dope about the podcast is that no matter what you're doing right now, whether you're driving to work, driving to school, laying in your bed, at the gym, I don't know, hanging out at grandma's house, you can just kick back, lay on a couch. Well, if you're in a car, you're not going to be laying on a couch, but you get what I'm saying. You could be wherever you're at and just listen to what I'm talking about and enjoy the conversation. But yeah, I'm very good at hyping people up, so I was really good at like pregame speeches. I was good at getting the sideline hyped up, and if the sideline is hyped up, the people on the field are playing better. You guys know the deal. That was my role was to get the crowd pumped, to get the sidelines pumped. Yeah, that's what I did. You know what? I fucking love football, and I would love to go back and do it again. A lot of you guys have uh, sent emails in that you want me to talk about high school. And honestly, I could probably go on for high school for like three hours. I fucking loved high school. Now, I know a lot of people have different opinions on high school, whether they loved it, whether they hated it, whatever. I had a very good, I'm very blessed and very lucky to have a very good high school experience. Loved all my teachers, loved all my friends. It was overall just awesome. And for, for all of you guys, uh, for your younger listeners that are going into high school, if you guys want some advice, because I've been through it and I understand it's a little bit nerve wracking, it's scary. My freshman year, I was super duper nervous walking into that school. But let me tell you something right now. Just be yourself. Be open to new opportunities. Be open to meeting new people. Try new stuff. There's some clubs at your school. Get involved with the clubs. Get involved with the sports. Make new friends. Don't be afraid to sit with someone new and just be like, hey, my name is so-and-so. How are you? Make new friends and just express yourself and try new shit. 
in high school, stuff that you never did before. Like if you've never played football, maybe give football a try if you want to do that. You know what I mean? Maybe there's a chess club. Go for the chess club. It's so cool when you meet people that have common interests with you, and then you can really you know develop yourself further as a person. But yeah, high school is awesome. We used to have this thing in my high school called class night, where essentially it would be a skit, a dance, there would be art, props, all that type of stuff, and you would essentially make a show. Each grade would make a show. There would be an overall theme. So I believe my senior year, the theme was friendship. I could be wrong about that. If any of you went to high school with me and you're listening to this, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I'm pretty sure the theme was friendship, and for then you pick a subcategory from that theme. So we went with Sesame Street. And your boy played Elmo, so we made a whole skit around Sesame Street. And the whole premise of our skit was that Cookie Monster was addicted to cookies, and he was dying because he was destroying his insides because if you eat too many cookies, you're going to have some problems. Health issues. Cookies are not very healthy. Cookies are good in moderation, but Cookie Monster clearly had a problem. So he goes to the doctor. He's not feeling well. The doctor says, you got to stop eating cookies. He ends up you know, saying, all right, doc, I'm going to clean up my act. But then he goes back to eating the cookies. <laughs> I'm really explaining this well. I haven't thought about this skit in a long time. So I'm very excited that I could still remember this perfectly. So he goes back to eating cookies. So Elmo and Big Bird, a.k.a. me and my friend Joe, shout out to Joe. He's the fucking man. We're like, yo, let's hold an intervention for this guy because he fucking needs it. So we have all of the characters lined up in a room ready to give Cookie Monster this intervention. And finally, when Cookie Monster hears all of us express our love and support for this man, he decides, you know what? I'm going to put the cookies down, and I'm going to lead a healthier and happier life because friendship is the most important. We fucking won that year. I don't know if I mentioned this, but all the grades battle to see who will come out on top, and there's judges in the audience, and the whole community gets together in the high school gymnasium. It's fucking awesome. And uh, my grade won uh, junior year and senior year. We did Scooby-Doo junior year, and we did Sesame Street uh, senior year. When we did Scooby-Doo, I played Scrappy-Doo, which was awesome. And again, my friend Joe was Scooby. Got to give a huge shout-out to my boy Chris. Because Chris, not Chris in Team Lettuce, is a different Chris. This is Chris B. Gotta show some love to Chris because Chris was Cookie Monster in Sesame Street and he was Shaggy in Scooby Doo. And that dude is fucking hilarious. Yo, some of my favorite high school memories were like meeting up with that squad of friends and working on that skit together and the dances. And yeah, there's like, while you're in the skit, you transition into dances and then the art people in your grade make art and scenery and props in the background. It's, just, it's a really cool thing. If you guys hear me pause and swallow, giggity, that's because I'm taking sips of high-quality H2O because while my voice is coming back, it still is a little bit hoarse. So I want to make sure that uh, I am, you know, what is what is the word? I want to make sure that I'm treating my vocal cords well by consuming that high-quality H2O. But yeah, high school was awesome, man. I just... I took a marine science course, and we had to do a project at the end of the year. You could either write a paper on the marine animal that you got, or you could make a video. So you guys already know, of course, I made the video. And a lot of you guys actually found the video. I think we were talking about this in a Versus episode at one point on the channel. But if you type in Humpback Whale Marine Project, okay, it's still on YouTube. Go there if you're listening to this and leave a comment saying we came from the podcast. If you guys have never seen this video, you're really going to love it. Basically, I made a whole documentary on Humpback Whale. And I still remember the first line of it perfectly. It goes, let me see if I can still do the voice as well. And if you listen to this now and then go listen to that video, you're going to be like, holy shit, this kid hasn't skipped a beat. It goes a little something like this. The sea is home to many magnificent creatures. However, some of these creatures are more magnificent than others. But perhaps the truly magnificent of the bunch is the big and bold humpback whale and it gets a little goofy and it gets a little silly but for the most part if you don't know anything about humpback whales you're actually going to learn a lot from listening to that documentary or watching that documentary which is a pretty awesome thing but yeah I'm very happy that I'm doing this podcast right now because I had a thought in my mind while I was laying in bed after I finished watching the movie I thought to myself you know what it is almost 7 in the morning if you don't record something now I guarantee nothing goes up on the channel today because once I finally do fall asleep I'm probably going to be out for the count for the entire day my sleep schedule right now my dudes is so completely and utterly fucked I've been it's like some days I wake up early, some days I sleep till 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, sometimes even 5 o'clock at night. It's all over the place. Listen, at the end of the day, though, as long as I'm uploading consistent, high-quality content for you guys, 
That's fucking cool with me. I don't give a shit what my sleep schedule is, but it would be great to fix it and get it on track because essentially all I do right now is I wake up, I record some content, I hit the gym, and then I like have some Vinny time where I can like hang out with friends and family, and then I sleep. And that's life right now, and I'm very content with that. And it makes me very happy that I can pick and choose and make my own schedule. But you know what? Everyone needs a little bit of structure and uh You know, if you guys could take anything away from this podcast, I would say it's definitely good to have a schedule, to have structure. And while being my own boss is a fucking dream come true, and it's an amazing reality, excuse me, as I burp into the mic and taste the cheat meal that I had a couple hours ago, had some sushi, but we'll talk to that in a second. While it is amazing to be your own boss, sometimes you can get a little bit lazy because obviously if you have a job where you have an actual boss that's not you and you think to yourself, okay, if I don't go to work today... I will get fired. There's a consequence. In my scenario, if I don't want to go to work a certain day, I'm the boss. I call myself in my head, and I'm like, hey, Vinny, I can't make it today. I'm not feeling good. And then, of course, Vinny says, no problem, Vinny, go back to bed. You guys get what I'm saying? So it gets a little bit scary. That was a cool analogy. I I like like 7 a.m. cast. This is fun. I love that title, by the way. I feel like it's a really good title for this. Anyway, yeah, so I just got to get... Super duper motivated, stay motivated, and like I say, with anything in life, the key to success, and I truly do believe this, and no matter what you're doing, is consistency. Consistency is the number one thing. If you are being consistent, I don't care what you're doing, trying to lose weight, trying to build up a a fan base on YouTube and build your channel, trying to uh, run a faster mile, trying to... anything, any example you can think of, I can't really think of any, any other examples right now, I'm a little bit sleepy, but... Anything that you're doing in your life, consistency is key as I almost knock over my glass of high-quality H2O and completely destroy my keyboard, but it's okay because I grabbed it at the last second because I'm motherfucking Spider-Man. Speaking of being Spider-Man, um, that, would be the, that would be the superpower that I would select. I know we're jumping from topic to topic, but honestly, what the fuck do you guys expect listening to a podcast that I am recording at 7 a.m. in the motherfucking morning? Make some motherfucking noise! Yo, I feel like this would be really cool to listen to if you guys were also sleep-deprived. So maybe, like, you guys want to stay up all night, then listen to this, and we'll all be, like, on the same... <coughs> Excuse me, I almost just choked there. Gotta remember to breathe when I'm commentating. I know I make that joke a lot, but seriously, sometimes I'll be in a flow and I'll be talking. I'll be like, holy shit, I forgot to breathe. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but it's true. But yeah, we'll all be on the same wavelength, which would be really dope. And the one thing that I do adore about the Vinny podcast is just the raw, the raw essence of it. There's no editing here. Whatever I say when I start recording to when I stop recording is what makes into the episode. Whatever the fuck I say ends up going online, which is awesome. And I'm going to scooch up in my chair right here. But yeah, let's talk about my cheat meal a little bit. You guys got to see me right now. I'm literally like arched over. My arms are crossed on my desk while I lean into this microphone. Intimate like, very intimate like, how you doing, Mike? You having a good night? Yeah. Or good morning. <laughs> I'm so silly. I sound great. I really do love the own, I love the sound of my own voice. I know that's a little bit crazy to say, but I really do feel like I have a perfect voice for commentary. That's why I always get so paranoid when I'm screaming a lot, like more than usual when I'm screaming in every single video nonstop. I get nervous. 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 I get nervous I'm going to permanently damage my voice because if that happens, I am figgity fucked. Ah, that's such good water right there. But yeah, my cheat meal. So tonight, me, my mom, and my dad, we went to uh, this sushi place close by our house, and I got some sushi. A lot of rolls is usually what I get when I go to the sushi places. I got, this is my go-to usual five rolls. I get a California roll because I'm a basic-ass bitch, yes. I get a Philadelphia roll. I get an Alaskan roll, a spicy tuna, and a Boston roll. Those five are usually my go-to, and if I'm really crazy, I'll throw in a shrimp tempura because I love the taste of that crunchy shrimp. But, yeah, I'm a big sushi guy. I really do love sushi. It's probably my favorite cheat meal. And I know people are always saying to me, Vinny, sushi is not a cheat meal. Let me tell you something right now. When you don't eat carbs throughout the week, and I'm talking starchy carbs, I'm talking bagels, I'm talking bread, talking pasta, rice, all stuff like that. You, when you when your cheat meal comes up, you're going to want to implement those, at least in my opinion, because I'm craving them like a motherfucker throughout the week. So I'm like, yo, I want some sushi. I want some rice wrapped up around some fish, raw fish. I want to fucking eat it. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. But yeah, it was a good cheat meal. Really good cheat meal. Really enjoyed it. And then after we were done with the main meal, my parents were like, do you want dessert? And I was really looking forward to dessert at the beginning of the meal. But the problem was I ate too much during the meal and then I didn't want any dessert. And I feel like that's a human flaw 
that a lot of us experience, that flaw, is that you eat so much at dinner that you don't leave enough room for dessert, and everyone loves motherfucking dessert. I would have loved some chocolate cake after that sushi, but unfortunately, I ate so much that I felt like my stomach was literally going to pop, and uh, I said to myself, you know what, just give me a glass of water, please, I gotta flush all of this out of my system. I had a Coca-Cola to go with my sushi, and uh, let me tell you something, when you don't drink soda a lot, because all I drink is water now, besides my cheat meals, when I have a cheat meal, I will drink whatever the fuck I want, soda, iced tea, whatever, really sugary shit, sugary shit, that sounds satisfying, sugary shit, sugary shit, New York, what is the, what is the saying that you say, uh, when you're trying to like vocal warm up, new, unique New York, unique New York, red leather, yellow leather, I don't know, I feel like I just made up unique New York, but no, I feel like that's a thing, if it's a thing, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are like vocalist warm-up enthusiasts. I don't know where I'm getting at here. I feel like the longer this goes on, the more ridiculous the commentary is going to get, but at the same time, the more entertaining and thoroughly enjoyable this is going to be. I, I have great ideas. I really love the fact that I rolled out of bed to record this because you know what? At the end of the day, my purpose is to entertain. I don't know how many times I have to say this in the Vinny podcast and in other videos and live streams as well, but that's why I was put on this earth. I believe we all have a purpose. I don't mean to get too deep right now, but fuck it. I'm going to get deep anyway. It's the 7 a.m. cast. How we fucking roll here on the original 151 channel. My name is Vinny. Buckle up because we're about to go deep. Everyone has a purpose. And it takes a while for certain people to figure out their specific purpose, but we all have one. I really do believe that. My purpose, which I recently have figured out is to entertain, to make people feel good, to make people forget about their everyday worries and stresses of life, to make people smile, to make people laugh, whatever that may be, just to get your mind pointed in a different direction from negative to positive. If I'm doing that on a day-to-day basis, I am fulfilling my purpose, therefore it makes me a happy human being, and I'm doing good for, I guess, the world. Real talk. I'm being completely serious right now. That is really what I feel is like my, um, that's what I'm destined to do, is just to make people feel good. And I hope I'm doing a good job of that. And if I'm not, well, I'm sorry, I'm doing my best. I did my best. I did my best. I fucking love Dane Cook. I've been watching a lot of stand-up recently. I don't know if you guys know this, but my freshman year of college, I can't remember if it was my first semester or my second. I think it was my second. I want to say it was my second. I'm almost certain it was. It might have been my first. I don't know. I took a stand-up comedy class, and for those of you guys that have heard this story already, I apologize, but for those of you guys that are new, I would like to share this story with you. I actually did stand-up. I took a class called Stand-Up Comedy. Yes, of course. That was the name of the class. My teacher's name was Kelly, so shout-out to Kelly if you're listening to this. You're fucking awesome. You're hilarious. The entire premise of the class for the entire semester was to build a stand-up bit. I believe it was a five-minute bit, right? So you would come up with your bit, The class would help add jokes. You would perform in front of the class. Everyone would help develop their bits. And then for the final, the final exam, quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes right now, but obviously you guys can't see because I'm not recording face cam. um, We would all perform in a uh, comedy club in Manhattan. I believe we performed at a place called The Stand in Manhattan. And uh, my whole bit was about this trip that I went on in high school to Aruba. And I got involved in this dance competition. It was fucking hilarious. Everyone really enjoyed it. Thank God. I worked super hard in that class. I really wanted to do a good job when I got up there. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I get nervous about performing big time. So I did all that stuff in high school. I was telling you guys about earlier, you know, class night and all of that stuff. Mm. That's what it was called. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I definitely mentioned that. The Elmo stuff and all that. Like, I am good. Not to toot my own horn here, but, like, I'm good at performing. I'm good in front of a crowd. I know how to get a crowd going. I know how to make people feel good. I know how to get people into the show. But the day of the performance, whatever it may be, I am a fucking nervous wreck. And I don't know if you guys get like this, but the whole day, I am, my OCD and my anxiety is on motherfucking hyper overdrive, and you better have that seatbelt fastened because it's taking you for a fucking joyride, folks. I'm bugging out. I was drinking tea all fucking day to make sure that my voice was good before I did the Elmo thing because I needed to make my voice go super high, super duper high, and I would do it now, but honestly, I can't even do the Elmo anymore because I've been yelling every day since that performance, and my voice just totally cooked right now, so I can't do it. It was really good. To, you know, let me try one. <clears throat> I definitely still can't do it. I'm about to make a fool of myself. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. I actually kind of still can do it. Welcome to Elmo's World. You want to touch Elmo's fur? 
<laughs> I tried doing the Elmo laugh at the end, but then I just started actually laughing. It was, <laughs> so we opened up that show with uh, Elmo singing Elmo's song on the piano. I can't even remember how the fuck it goes, but yeah, we did that Elmo song. I had a little fishbowl on my piano when I was playing the pretend piano. Hilarious, but uh, yeah, so I was worried all day that I was going to lose my fucking voice. I'm very happy that I can still do that. that. That makes me happy. It was a lot better back in the day, you know, when I perfected it, but still, nonetheless, it's a pretty cool Elmo voice. Uh, you can, guys can give me your review in the comments down below. I always love interacting with you guys, especially on the podcast recordings. Makes me feel very happy, but yeah, I was bugging all day, so for this stand-up uh, final that I had... You can ask anyone in my family, anyone of my close friends at the time. I was bugging the fuck out. I was super nervous. And then when they said my name, I was I was pacing in the fucking comedy club, like sweating, super duper nervous. Then they said my name, Vinny Cracciola, come up on the stand. They, they said my fucking name weird. But it's Caracciolo, if you guys want to know how to pronounce my last name. I'm only telling the podcast, fam, because you guys are fucking awesome. But anyway, I get up on the stage, and the second that I grabbed that microphone, I swear to God, like a beast within was unleashed. And I wasn't nervous, and I was just in my zone, and it made me feel amazing. I actually get like that before big streams. So, for example, sleep locks. Sleep locks get me fucking nervous. Like, I don't think you guys would ever even realize that, really, because once I click start stream, the nerves go away, and I just get into a flow, thank God. But before sleep locks, oh, my God, I get so freaking nervous. I'm, I'm pacing. I'm overthinking. I'm a big overthinker, which you guys know, obviously, if you do any sort of, like, following me on anything, social media, YouTube, whatever, I really overthink a lot, and I'm trying my best to not overthink so much moving forward, and it's proving to be a difficult process, but honestly, I really do think I am getting better at it, which is uh, which is a really awesome thing. I like to think of my overthinking as like a gift and a curse at the same time, because the overthinking definitely makes me more... I, I work harder at things with the overthinking, if that makes any sense, because let's say, for example, I'm working on a video, and I notice something wrong with it. I will overthink about that error multiple times, and it will make me want to fix that error. So essentially, you know, I wouldn't be me without that part of my personality that's constantly thinking, constantly wanting to do something, constantly wanting to like improve a certain thing that I'm working on, especially from a creative standpoint. So at the same time, I don't want to lose that completely, but you know, it's, it's, it does get very annoying sometimes when you're thinking of the same thing over and over and over. And I, I guarantee a lot of you guys that are listening to this can relate to the constant dwelling and the constant overthinking that OCD and anxiety, you know, exhibit upon you. Um, for lack of a better term, but yeah, it's, it's annoying, you know, it's, it's good, but it's bad, but you got to turn that into your fucking superpower. The new Kanye album, he talks about how he's bipolar and that's how, that's his superpower. He's a superhero. Wow. It's literally what he does in the end of one of the songs. I think it's on yikes, which is one of my favorites on the album, but, but literally like take your negatives and flip them into a positive. A lot of people have been leaving comments lately, by the way, saying that like I'm emotional, motivational speaker. I'm, I'm just a dude expressing my opinion to you guys like real talk i have no qualifications to be a motivational speaker or anything but if you can take my words and i don't know make it affect your life in a positive way then by all means you can call me a motivational speaker that's fucking awesome if i could affect you in a positive way that's 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 above and beyond anything that i could even comprehend that's fucking sick but yeah take your take your quote unquote negative character traits and fucking flip that shit and use that shit for good and just get stuff done create awesome stuff i remember in my drone class um in my last semester of college, I took a class on uh, learning how to fly drones and photography about drones and all that type of stuff and preparing for the exam uh, at the end of the semester to get your drone certification license and all that. But a guy came in on the last day because my teacher couldn't make it. Yo, shout out to my drone professor. He's fucking awesome. He is the man. Super cool dude. Got really close to that guy, but he couldn't make it. To the last class, we had this guy come in that's friends with him that also works in the drone field and all that. And he was just saying, you know, do dope shit. No matter what you're doing in your life, just give it 100%, give it 110%, and just do dope shit. And if you're in the creative space, keep creating. Keep doing your thing. Never be afraid to try some new stuff. And just go for it. Damn, that sushi is really repeating on me. Yo, it was so good, though. Philadelphia rolls are the fucking shit. Speaking of Philly, my boy, my boy Frank... I'm going to meet this man this summer. Now, if you guys don't know Frank, he has been on the channel 
for the longest of time. I'm telling you, this man was a subscriber back in the fucking fire red days when we had the first Oswald and me and him have just connected and we became friends a long, long time ago. And we're always Snapchatting and fucking linking up and stuff. And I said to this man yesterday, technically, because now it's 7 a.m., 7 a.m. cast. What up, pimps? I said to him yesterday, I'm like, yo, I'm coming to Philly this year. We're going to link up. We're going to meet up. It's going to be awesome. And speaking of meetups, I really want to do some sort of a fan meetup in New York City before the year's over. That's something that I really want to get done because I know a lot of you guys want to meet me and I want to meet a lot of you guys. And I've, I've really never, I've, we've never done a fan meetup before. Obviously the fan meetup in Nashville, I couldn't make it, which was a very unfortunate, but I want to plan something probably like by the Nintendo world, uh, the Pokemon center, whatever you want to call it. That's in Manhattan by Lego world and by Rockefeller center and all that. I think that would be so awesome if we can all meet up there We can all give each other big hugs, take some pictures, maybe go live. I think that would be awesome. So let me know if you guys are interested on something like that in the comments down below. My God, I'm so fucking thirsty right now. Other updates uh, as far as like things that are going on on the channel. And we just passed the 30 minute mark, which is crazy. I can't believe I've been sitting here talking for 30 minutes. I feel like if there's one thing that I really can pride myself on, it's being able to commentate and being able to talk nonstop about whatever. I mean, literally, I've been talking for 30 minutes straight. There's nobody else here. I have no notes. I had nothing prepared coming into my office, getting ready to sit in front of this microphone and talk to you guys. Like, this is all just coming from a place of just genuine passion that I have for creating. And I feel like when you're sleep deprived, your true emotions come to the surface a little bit more. I hope you guys really understand how much I love this fucking job and how I want to just keep working to grow this channel and keep working to get more and more people in the family. And we really are the best family on YouTube. You guys are so fucking supportive in everything that I do. Literally every decision that I make for the channel, you guys are 100% backing me. And it's, it's fucking awesome. But speaking of things on the channel, shop that original 151.com now you guys know it's where you pick up the hottest merch in the game you guys are super supportive with the merch we are revamping the entire merch store very very soon i ordered some prototypes that are not for sale yet but new merch items that are coming in the mail i should have them by next week that i'm going to wear in upcoming videos but it's going to be awesome i'm really i just wanted to order them for myself first to test the waters and then once i see that it's a nice product which hopefully it will be a beautiful product because teespring is fucking awesome and everything they make is great but i just wanted to make sure i got my hands on it and felt it for myself before i started to sell something it's going to be awesome, my dude. Just get ready and keep checking shop.original151.com for updates. Actually, don't even do that. I will tell you when the store is revamped because I will let you know on Twitter. And here's a perfect time, more so than any, to plug my Twitter at Vinny and plug my Instagram as well. Instagram.com slash Vinny. My username is Vinny on Instagram and Twitter. You guys know this already. I literally talk about it in every single fucking video. And I feel like a lot of people think, why does he plug his Instagram and his Twitter so much? Honestly, guys. I'm like moving around my seat right now, turning my microphone, just trying to get more comfortable. Now I'm looking at myself in the reflection of, reflection of my other monitor, and it's pretty cool that I'm like seeing myself talk, and my legs are really sweaty, and my ass is kind of sticking to this chair, and I'm wearing boxers right now, and a black tee, black polo tee. I don't know why I just decided to tell you my OOTD, my outfit of the day. But I did, nonetheless. What were we just talking about? I literally can't remember. Merch! Yes! No! Social media. I like to plug my Instagram and my Twitter a lot because when I'm not on YouTube, whether that be not in a recorded video or not live streaming, whatever, it's nice to know that I can still upload content in some shape or form, whether it be on Twitter with words and videos or on Instagram with stories and posts and pictures and stuff like that. It's just a good idea in general. If you're a fan of me or a fan of what I do, just check out my Instagram and my Twitter. Like, I know we make a joke about it a lot. It's becoming a meme, but I really genuinely want you guys to follow me over there because we have so much fun on Instagram and Twitter. Like, if you go look at my Instagram right now, if you're watching this, if you're watching this podcast or listening to this podcast the day it goes up, then if you go to my Instagram story, you'll see my brother getting ready to leave for work and I walk into his room. It's like 6 45 AM and I have the flash on my camera and his reflective vest because he does sanitation. So he has to wear a vest. It's fucking, uh, excuse me. It's fucking glowing. And I'm just laughing my ass off because it literally looks like this kid is like using the flash TM. He's just glowing. It looks, <laughs> it looks hilarious as he ties his boots. And I have this epic Italian techno song blasting. I've been listening to a lot of Italian music lately which is so dope, like, 
some of my favorite songs that are so nostalgic to me too because I used to listen to them all the time when I was a kid, like Umberto Tozzi's Ti Amo is probably one of my favorite songs of all time. Then you got songs like Felicita, you got the Tarantella. Yo, I'm telling you guys right now, my fucking Italian accent will come out and it will stay for 25 to 35 to 37 minutes. Don't even fucking question my ability to speak in an Italian accent because I can fucking bring this out whenever the fuck I feel like it. But now I feel like going to my regular voice for a little bit because if we get too Italian over here, you guys are going to start hearing the Italian. Oh, God, here it comes again. You see, I just say the word Italian, and then I start fucking talking in my Italian accent. If you guys didn't know, by the way, I'm Italian, okay? Not 100%, fun fact. My grandfather, my mother's father, was actually German. So that's a thing, but I don't really consider myself German. I consider myself 100% Italian, even though I'm not 100% Italian. But yeah, if you guys look at me, you're like, that fucking kid's Italian. I mean, his name's fucking Vinny, okay? His last name has about 37 vowels in it, so... <laughs> You get the idea, but man, it's, you know, they say the best thing, I I forgot what class I was in, I think it was one of my ASL classes actually, and that's American Sign Language for those of you guys that don't know, and I actually, I, in my degree, my uh, communications bachelor's degree, you need four levels of an, of a language, so I completely did sign language like full through, I, I am, I, I, I know sign language, I'm not good at it, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not good at it, but I, I dabble a little bit in sign language, I can do the whole book of Green Eggs and Ham, and sign that, which is uh, which is pretty cool. That's like my go-to thing. Like, yeah, I can sign green eggs and ham. But anyway, my teacher, uh, shout out to Tony. I'm giving so many shout outs in this video, but I'm feeling lo- very, lov- very lovable today and loving at the same time as I prop my feet up on this little case that I got in my room. Oh, I just stretched the legs out. That feels nice. Speaking of legs, I have to hit legs today. But anyway, my, uh, my professor Tony in my ASL class played this video I can't remember the exact video or what it was, but it was a Marine speaking, I believe, at a college graduation, and it was so fucking amazing. And he basically, one thing that I took away from that video, the, the main thing that I took away from that video was he said, if you want to feel good, one of the best things to do is to wake up and just get something done. I know I've talked about this on the channel before, and if I, if I haven't, maybe I'm thinking of something else, but I'm almost certain I've talked about this before. So in other words, when you first wake up, make your bed. Okay. No matter what's going to happen following the, the, the result of you making your bed, you got something done for the day and that will make you feel good. Hang up a towel. You got a towel hanging on the floor, pick it up, put it on the towel rack, just do something and get something done. And you could do stuff, you know, bigger than just picking up a freaking towel. You can say to yourself, okay, every morning when I wake up, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to run three miles on the treadmill, whatever, go outside, run a 5k, just doing something. When you first wake up, gets your day started in a very positive way that leads you and propels you to having more success later on in the day. I mean, granted, I haven't gone to sleep yet, but technically Technically, I am doing something productive at the beginning of my day. Now, granted, what I'm done editing, not there's nothing really to edit. I just have to put this audio on like the, you know, the graphic with the cool little coffee cup and the steam coming out. Once I get that all wrapped up and uploaded to the channel, I'll post this probably later on, maybe around like 3 p.m., 4 p.m., whatever. But I'm probably I'm going to sleep after this. and I'm probably going to stay in bed all day. <laughs> I'll go to the gym and get a nice workout in. But right when I wake up, I'm hitting the gym. I'm doing something. So no matter what time you're waking up. Just try that. See if you have some uh, see if you have some positive vibes from that. Wake up and just and just get something done. Maybe do some homework when you first wake up. Maybe I don't know if you have a hobby, if you're a stamp collector, I don't know, go to the stamp store, get some new stamps. Just do something productive. You guys get what I'm talking about here. But yeah, man, the weekend is coming up. I have a graduation party on Saturday. My best friend Casey that I've been friends with since I was like Jesus Christ, like fucking 5, 5 or 6. We literally went from preschool all the way through high school together. She's awesome. And uh, she texted me the other day and she's like, hey, what are you doing Saturday? And I was like, hanging out with you. And she's like, come to my grad party. And I was like, yes, bitch. I'm like, let's fucking go. So we'll be hanging out in her backyard, having some drinks. It's going to be a good time. I was at a grad party last week. My friend Nicole, again, shout out to Nicole and shout out to Casey as well. You guys are fucking awesome. Nicole's party was lit because her mom came out with 100 White Castle burgers. The problem with this was that I already had a cheat meal that week. This was last week, but I was like, you know what? It's okay to let loose a little bit. It's okay. I'm at a graduation party, special occasion. These don't happen very often, even though I literally have one every day, every Saturday for the next two weeks. (laughs) I guess it's like graduation season, so it makes sense. But yeah, these are like special occasions. I was like, you know what? I'm going to kick back, relax, enjoy myself. I normally don't drink beer, but I was having some beer, having some burgers, having some fucking cookies, brownies cake. It was a little bit of a fucking disaster. I'm going to be honest with you. I was eating a lot of fucked up foods, but then the next day, I'm back on track. Your boy's killing it. 
So I ate clean up until today because every Thursday, usually I have a rotating day. So in other words, every Monday, my cheat meal day resets so I could cheat on Tuesday and then I can't cheat again till that Monday. It resets. I can pick a new day, etc. But I honestly usually just pick Thursday. Like Thursday is pretty much my definitive cheat day. So I had a cheat meal tonight, like you guys know, and now I'll be back on track. Now I'm wondering though, at Casey's on Saturday, she's probably going to have barbecue, burgers, fries, hot dogs, and stuff like that. I'm going to stay diligent, and I'll keep you guys updated on this on Twitter. I'm going to say, yo, I'm at Casey's. I'm eating clean. Going to have a couple drinks. Going to stay away from the beer. I'll probably have a little bit of mixed drinks, maybe a vodka soda or something, which is very nice. That's like my go-to drink. It's my favorite. Very boring, but you know what? It gets the job done. I like vodka sodas. By the way, drink responsibly and only drink if you are 21 years of age. I got to be a dad. I have a hat on right now. Got to put on the dad cap and make sure that I am giving you guys... <coughs> Excuse me, I am definitely still sick, giving you guys the keys to leading very good and successful lives, and you guys are all my children, so I have to take you guys under my fucking wing, and yes, I literally have my arms extended right now, you guys can't see it, but I promise you they're extended, and you're all under my wings, and I am taking care of you guys, because you guys are the fucking best, and I would not be me without you guys, so yes, I will keep you guys updated, I'm going to stay diligent on the diet this Saturday, a.k.a. tomorrow. I am actually getting, uh, I think, a l- early dinner with my friend Alex tonight, which is nice that I'm getting this episode done and recorded because uh, literally all I have to do is go to the gym, and then I'll be hanging out with my friend Alex, whom I haven't seen in a very long time. It's going to be fun to get some uh, some dinner with her and catch up. I love catching up with people you haven't seen in a while. It's always a really cool thing. You know, just to just to update people on, on life and, and what you're going through. And you know, it's crazy. I was actually, I was speaking to Dylan uh, earlier, well, yesterday now because it's 7 a.m. cast, but I was speaking to Dylan and I was, I was and we're about to get really deep, by the way. So deep caution, um, giggity, giggity goo. But yeah, we're about to get, we're about to get into the nitty gritty right here for the last 20 minutes of this podcast, because you guys know the Vinny podcast always goes for about an hour, a little bit longer. It's all good. It's going to go for about an hour. I just see that we're at the 40 minute mark. So I was telling Dylan, you know, it's, it's crazy in life that, you know, we experience things with certain people, and then before you know it, those experiences are, are done. They're over, you know? And not in like a not in a sad or dark sense. It's just like life is just constantly going on and moving on. And you have these memories with certain people in your life, and you you cherish those memories, but the longer that you go away from the memories, like the more time goes by. It's like you you think back and you're like, am I remembering this correctly? Where did the time go? How the fuck did I go from here to there? And I know these are very vague like terms that I'm throwing around, but I think you guys can understand where I'm getting at. It's just like life is just so crazy. It's just the fact that we can hold on to these memories and we think about certain things. And then sometimes you think about a memory and you're like, did it really go down that way? Like, was that really what I was feeling at that specific time? And we're constantly evolving as people. And it's crazy. It's like, the person that I was three years ago is not the person that I am now. Obviously, I have the same morals. I would like to believe I have the same moral compass, the same personality. But at, at the end of the day, I, I really do believe that people do constantly evolve. And I wouldn't be the me that I am now if I wasn't the me that I was three years ago, if that makes any sense. It's crazy because I would say about two years ago, for whatever reason, I was kind of in like a funk Right. So like I would wake up. I really wouldn't be in too good of a mood. You know, I would be in really good moods. I was recording content, keeping my mind busy. But when my mind wasn't busy, I was always, you know, kind of in like a kind of like down in the dumps type of thing. And over time, you know, I just I found I guess I found myself to a degree and just started like doing things that I really love to do in my spare time and fucking, you know, treating my body better and eating healthier. And I wanted to say get more sleep. But no, I just I still don't sleep at all. (laughs) I, just, <laughs> I don't think my sleep schedule will ever be fixed, but I mean, I'm kind of going off on all these tangents here. I just, I guess the main point of this conversation is just like how crazy life is and how crazy the brain is and how, you know, you might remember a specific time in your life and you're thinking about how you felt at that time and you really can't pinpoint exactly the emotions that you had at that time. And certain memories are super potent and you can remember and that's fucking awesome as well. It's just crazy. Like, I want you guys think in your head right now of someone that you used to talk to that you might not talk to anymore. And then think about, like, why don't you talk to that person anymore? What events 
led you and that person to maybe either have a fallout or just distance normally? Like maybe there was no issue. Maybe you guys just distance from each other for whatever reason. It's like, why do people come and go in life? You know what I'm saying? I feel like you guys know what I'm talking about. It's, it's a, it's a weird subject, but it's definitely something interesting to discuss. It's like, you know, why, why do we connect with the people that we connect with? For what reason? Is it common interests? Is it, you know, you just like being around specific people? I don't know. I've been wearing this. Uh, you guys can hear that. I've been wearing this gold chain that my mother gave to me like every day. I literally don't take it off. I sleep with it. I shower with it. I go to the gym with it. And it has the Italian horn on it, which uh, for those of you guys that don't know, the Italian horn is basically to you know thwart off evil, get rid of the bad vibes to keep good luck on your side. And then I have a St. Joseph's charm and a St. Mount Carmel charm. And I just, I don't know why. I feel like ever since I put this on, like my good vibes have been like ridiculously like better, significantly better. I don't know. I, I mean, can you guys tell from watching the content? Can you tell that I've just been in such a better headspace as of lately? I'm curious what you guys think because you know what? It's always cool to get a critique about yourself. And in the position that I'm in, I'm always under, you know, critique to some degree because there's so many people that watch and I'm so blessed that there's so many people watching my life on a day-to-day basis. But, you know, it gets a little crazy when you think about it. And I, I, I would love feedback. I mean, I personally feel like I'm in the best, the best space mentally that I've ever been in. And that makes me so fucking happy. Because you know what? Like, being happy is, like, contagious. If I feel good, hopefully you guys will feel good. And you'll make the people around you feel good. And if we all feel good, like, that's literally just a fucking, that's a win-win. And speaking of things that make me feel good... The Jersey Shore uh, family vacation season, I don't feel good that it's over. I feel good that it came back. You guys know I love Jersey Shore. I absolutely adore the Jersey Shore family vacation. The, the new episodes that they've been putting out, fucking awesome. I watched the finale tonight, and I thought it was a perfect finale. And they're already coming back in August for season two of the Jersey Shore family vacation, which I can't wait for. And if you guys have been watching that show, then you know Mike. Mike is someone that completely turned his life around. I'm very, very happy for Mike, and I hope that everything is going to work out with him and all the legal situations that he's going through. If you guys don't know the story behind Mike, just Google Mike the situation. You'll you'll be able to get up to speed on all this stuff. But basically, he got into some trouble with some tax stuff, so hopefully he'll be okay in regards to all that. But he's just such a nice dude now. Like You watch the show, you're like, is that really... The mic that was stirring the drama pot all of those seasons on the original Jersey Shore. It's it's crazy. And like that goes back to my initial points. Like we're all constantly evolving and changing as people, and hopefully we change for the better. And if there's like one thing that I really want to like firmly imprint into like the the brains of you people out there, it's just I feel like it's not hard to be a good person. Like straight up. It's not hard to be a good person. It's it's easy to be a good person, to make someone feel good, to, you know, give a compliment to somebody, to give someone a fucking hug, give someone a dap, and just, even if, not even something like that, just shooting someone a text that you, that you just, you haven't talked to in a while, like, hey man, how's it going, it's cool to, I want to know how you were doing, what's been going on, just making small talk, you'd be surprised how that could make somebody's day, it's the little shit, like, I've been listening to a lot of Blink-182, one of my favorite songs ever, is All the Small Things, it's so true though, it's like, all the small things in life, they matter. It's like the little things really do matter. I don't know if it's just because I'm very sleep deprived right now, but I feel like we have gone into some really fucking awesome territory in these conversations tonight, which is so dope. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, I love the video podcast, man. Mm. As I chew on some ice and I'm sorry that the podcast schedule has literally been all over the place. I know we haven't had a recorded episode in I think like three or four weeks. So I'm really glad that I got this going for you guys. I might even post this early today. I might post this at like noon just so everyone could hear it as soon as possible because I don't know, you, you know as a content creator when you're recording something and it's just working and it's sticking. This is definitely an episode that I'm very proud of and I can't wait for you guys to hear. I'm just currently just trying to figure out what other avenues and what routes to go down, you know what I mean? I'm thinking that once I'm done recording this, I'm going to go upstairs and bother my mom because she's sleeping right now, but I want to wake up and have conversation with her because I'm in a very conversational mood right now. You guys don't even understand how lovable my dog is. Like, I guarantee if I go upstairs right now, because my mom sleeps with my, my, my mom, my dog sleeps with my mom and dad, and she's so fucking lovable, and if I go up there, she'll give me like a million kisses right now, and your boy wants a million kisses right now because that would be fucking awesome, mate. 
By the way, I mentioned earlier that I saw that movie Blockers tonight. If you guys have never seen Blockers with John Cena, I can't remember the other actors and actresses' name in it, but John Cena's in it, and he's fucking hilarious. I, I honestly didn't think the movie was going to be that good. I've been watching, by the way, a shitload of Jim Carrey movies lately. Okay. I want you guys to, if you have some free time tonight or sometime this weekend, just make some free time this weekend is what I'm trying to say. Watch, if you want a good emotional movie, a movie that really get the tears flowing, sometimes all you need is a good cry. Watch a, The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind with Jim Carrey. Oh my God, this movie was fucking amazing. So let me really quickly tell you the premise. So essentially, the basic premise of the movie is that if you get your heart broken uh, by a certain person in your life, you can go to a doctor and the doctor can perform this procedure to erase that person from your memory for good. Like, just from that tagline, just from that synopsis, whatever the fuck you want to call that, the premise of the movie, it's so intriguing because that shit gets you thinking. It's like, wow, someone that hurt me really bad, would I want to erase them from my memory to not feel that pain anymore? If that was a real thing, what would you guys do? If, if you guys... Because we've all been hurt by someone, someone, some way, some shape or form or another in our lives. Would you guys go to a doctor to have them erased from your memory? I'm, I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Crazy movie. Jim Carrey absolutely kills it. I've been on this crazy Jim Carrey kick lately. I've literally been watching all of his movies. I recently saw a Truman Show, which I fucking adored. I can't believe I've never seen that movie before because Jim Carrey is one of my favorite actors of all time. Watch the Truman Show. It was amazing. In case I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon. No, what is it? It's good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> I fucked that up, didn't I? Call me some slack. I'm a sleepy boy right now. In case I don't see you, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. I fucked that up. I got this right now. In case I don't see you, why can't I do this? Afternoon, evening, good night. Okay. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. There we go. The brain doesn't really want to process at this uh, hour of the day when you didn't get any sleep. It's weird. I feel like the nightcap, like from midnight to 6 a.m., goes by really quick for me, especially that I'm like a night owl. Hoot, hoot. But really awesome content. Coming to the channel this weekend. You guys got the podcast going up today. Tomorrow you got an episode of the Ruby Really Randomized Nuzlocke, which I'm going to probably record tomorrow because if I recorded it right now while still running on no sleep, I would most certainly lose the lock. And we don't want that because, first of all, the support on that series has been crazy. It's really dope to me that you guys are enjoying the solo content so much. Like it just, it puts a big smile on my face because you guys are watching the solo content for me and only me. And just, it, it means a lot to me that you guys are, are willing to watch that. And it's, it's just so awesome. And then tomorrow, of course, again, along with Ruby, we also have a new episode of the Mario 64 co-op with Dobbs going up. And that series is such a fucking breath of fresh air, man. Like it's just, it's so dope to be playing something other than Pokemon with Dobbs, one of my best friends in the entire world. And whatever we record is honestly, the chemistry is just there. You can tell that me and this dude have been boys for years. It's so awesome recording content with that dude. Me and Dylan have something in the works. You guys know this is no secret. Me and Time Stamp Dylan. I'm not even going to lie to you guys right now. I'm looking at my bicep veins in my monitor reflection right now. Your boy's looking like a fucking snack. I'm just, I'm so happy with how far that I've come in this healthy lifestyle. And yes, I had a cheat meal last night, but now we back on the grind. When I wake up later, I'm going to hit the gym, do probably an hour of cardio today, and I got to hit my legs and I'm going to flex the quads real quick. And you guys know my friend Valentina. She's also on my Instagram story right now, Valentina Cantelli. That's my bestie. You guys already know. You guys know and love Val. She is actually uh, training at a different gym moving forward. So I'm going to join that gym. I used to go to that gym back in the day from like eighth grade to like, I think senior year of high school, I went there. It's crazy. So I'll be going there as long, along with my gym now. So I could keep training with Val. Cause I love working out with Val. She's fucking awesome. Literally. Like, it's just so nice to know that you have a friend that has your back through thick and thin, no matter what, like Val's that person. You know what I mean? Shout out to my boy, Chris Francia as well. That dude is the fucking man. And I actually, he's, he's a full-time police officer now. So I haven't been seeing him that much, but you know what? He's, 
through thick and thin. You know, like those people in your life that you're so close with that you can't, you might not see them for a month, but when you link back up, it's like you guys never, never skipped a beat. It's like you guys never left. Like that's my boy, Chris. And you guys also know Chris, if you've been on the Instagram fam for a while, because I used to work out with him every day. He is one of the founders of Team Lettuce. And if you don't know what Team Lettuce is, it's the healthy lifestyle squad. If you eat clean, if you train like a savage, you are in Team Lettuce. Let's get a hashtag Team Lettuce in the comments down below. Also, if you guys have made it this far, if you have made it to listen to me ramble on and on for 53 minutes, going in and out of all of these conversations, getting tangled up in the web that I like to call the 7 a.m. cast, I want you guys to leave a comment right now, a.k.a. I want you guys to comment this. Ready? I want you guys to comment Venusaur. Okay, because I looked on the wall, I saw a poster, and I saw Venusaur on it. Venusaur, comment that down below if you made it to the very end of the podcast. I really want to see the diehard podcast listeners. I'm going to heart all your comments, and we're going to interact. It's going to be fucking awesome. But yeah, I'm in a very good mood today. I'm, I love I love the fact that you know today is just going to be a great day because I already got done my content for the day. I can enjoy myself tonight with my friend Alex and grab some dinner, go to the gym, have my me time, hang out with my puppy, hang out with my parents, my brother. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good weekend. And then on Sunday, it's back to the grind. going to record three videos with Dobbs. The way we have our recording schedule right now, basically, we do Sundays and Wednesdays. Sunday, we record two verses and a Mario. And then you guess it on Wednesday, two verses and a Mario. Send that over to Timestamp Dylan, and he gets busy with the edits and everything works out beautiful. Also, if you guys want some other podcast recommendations, I highly recommend the Joe Rogan podcast, my personal favorite podcast, and the Jen and Julian podcast. Those two podcasts, fucking awesome. Jen and Julian, I would love to eventually meet them one day and hang out with them. They are genuinely my favorite YouTubers, and I would literally fangirl out. I feel like I wouldn't even be able to hold a conversation with them, honestly, because I love them so much. I just feel like I'm friends with them already because we, like, just, I, just by watching their videos, you know? It's just, it's so dope. They're awesome. So for whatever reason, Julian and Jenna, if you're listening to this, I just want you guys to know you are the most genuine people I've ever came across in my life. You guys are awesome, and I really would love to have a conversation with you guys one time. It would be really cool to uh, to get Julian on the podcast, actually. I've spoke to Julian uh, a bunch of times. Maybe I could like reach out to him and be like, hey, man, if you're not too busy one day, I was thinking we could just have a conversation on the po- on my podcast. I, if I had the balls to do that, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the courage to ask that man. And we're just going to shoot the shit and talk about whatever. If he's down. He's a very busy guy. He's probably too busy to come on my little podcast over here. But if he's down, that would be awesome. And he's a super nice guy. So, yeah, I'll ask him. You know, I just talked myself into asking my favorite YouTuber to be a guest on my podcast. But speaking of YouTubers, let me know what guests you want to see. I literally just saw my phone Game Boy Luke DM me a couple uh, a couple minutes ago. I got to get him on the fucking podcast because he is he, – we and this man, Game Boy Luke – We've talked forever. Like, I remember talking to that man when I was around, like, 2,000 subs. He was always the nicest guy to me. And now me and this dude are, like, straight up friends, like, really good friends. And I talk to him about, you know, stuff that's bothering me. And we vent to each other. He is just a down-to-earth fucking dude. And if you guys don't know Game Boy Luke, go subscribe to his channel. But, yeah, I would love to see a bunch of suggestions for other YouTubers to come on the podcast. Obviously, we got to get Dobbs on here. We got to get Ryan and Matt and Sean. Speaking of Sean, that motherfucker said that he was going to bring content back to his channel very soon, quote unquote. And that was like four months ago. I don't know what very soon means, Sean. And yes, I'm directly talking to you right now, Squirtle9110. Tweet to this man, at Squirtle9110. Say, hey, Sean, where's the fucking content, my guy? Because we want to know. We really want to know i just looked over to my left and i saw my christmas tree i know a lot of people are always leaving questions like yo Vinny, why you got a christmas tree hung up still it's not december i just love christmas and i know christmas is still like what is it five months away because we're basically in july now i cannot fucking wait for christmas i'm super duper excited there's something about the november to december months like the last two months of the year that are just so special i just i love thanksgiving to christmas to new year's to my birthday like those four things are just the shit. They are so fucking dope. And it's going to be really cool to just straight up enjoy October, November, December without being in class. Because whenever, like, December's awesome, but you guys know if you're in college, if you're in high school, whatever, those, those, well, if you're in college, you know this definitely. 
the semester is ending and you have all these finals coming up and you really can't get into fucking Christmas mode till your last final is over. And that usually happens like the 21st, at least where I went to school. I went to Adelphi University, for those of you guys that don't know. Fucking awesome school. Panthers are the shit. I fucking love that school. Anyway, so... Like, the 21st of December is my last test, and I'm like, bro, I gotta get into fucking Christmas mode. I can't be worried about these damn final exams, but this year, I ain't got no worries, to quote my boy Lil Wayne. Shout out to my boy Adam from high school. That was, like, his favorite song. He used to play that all the time and do this really cool, freaking awesome dance. I'm probably seeing him on Saturday, which is dope, because I haven't seen Adam in a long time. I'm all about rekindling the freaking old friendships, man. But what's insane is that we have been recording... This this 7 a.m. cast, this podcast, for about 58 minutes now. So I'm going to start winding it down. I'm going to start wrapping it up. I'm very, very happy that you guys have listened to me for this long. You guys are fucking awesome. And I want to thank all of you for the love and support that you guys constantly show me. You guys know how I feel about you by now. You're, you're the fucking best. And I think this is definitely one of our better podcasts. Definitely one of our better solo podcasts for sure. I always love having guests on, though, because... Having a guest on, just cool to ricochet off other people and have a conversation and just see wherever the fuck the conversation goes. So I'm going to try. Next week, Luke should be free because I know he's got a lot going on lately. I've had a lot going on lately. Next week, he should be free. So stay tuned for next Friday. You guys know podcast episodes drop every Friday. We're going to get Game Boy Luke on this motherfucking podcast, and it's going to be awesome. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. Towards the tail end of this, well, not even the tail end of this. Well, yeah, this is the tail end of it. Right around now. I am fucking exhausted. Like, I am going to sleep like a little baby, especially knowing that I was productive and got this done, which is really awesome. You guys know that feeling when you have a responsibility or something that you got to do, and then you get it done, and you're like, yo, I can fucking sleep now. It is going down, my boys. But yeah, my dudes, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit that like button for me. Leave some comments. Can't wait to interact with you guys in the comments down below. And you know what? The podcast fam is the best fam. And I love you guys for listening to this and you know diving a little bit deeper into my life and getting a little bit more in an intimate setting. The podcast is definitely an intimate setting. And it's dope because we can just talk about whatever the fuck. And we don't have to worry about gameplay and mons dying and you know shit like that. We can just sit kick back, relax, and talk about whatever it is that we want to talk about. So again, I want to thank you guys for listening. You guys are awesome. Let me know in the comments down below, what are you doing this weekend? What is something that you really want to do this weekend? And uh, yeah, we're going to have some dope discussion. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you guys are not already, at Vinny on both of those platforms. I am going to hit the hay now. Well, first, I'm going to get this all prepared and upload it to the channel. That way I can just post it whenever I feel like it. But we're going to wrap it up for uh, for now, folks, and I'll see you on Friday for the next episode of the Vinny Podcast. And moving forward, I promise you guys the schedule will be consistent, of course, unless something comes up. But hopefully nothing will come up. See you next Friday for the next episode of the Vinny Podcast. I love you guys to death. You're fucking awesome. Here comes the outro. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.